Way in the back. Way in the back. Way, no, way in the back. Go ahead. Thank you. The Attorney General Merrick Garland was testifying up on the Hill today, and he was asked a lot about fentanyl. Um, I have a few questions for you on that front. He was asked by Senator Graham, he said, Senator Graham said, quote, would you agree with me that whatever we are doing as it relates to sentencing <coughs> guidelines is not working? And the Attorney General said, I would agree with that because of the number of deaths that you pointed out. Does President Biden believe that sentencing guidelines around fentanyl deaths need to get stricter? I'm going to just, I just caught a bit of that, of the coverage. I didn't catch all of it. Uh, and I, I will say that the, the Secretary uh, or the Attorney General spoke to a number of issues from what I understand. Uh, what I know for sure that he did, he spoke to the department's independent, the Justice Department's independent work and his commitment to rule of law. I'm just not going to go beyond, uh, beyond that. The Attorney General said, was asked if he opposes making the uh, most cart the senior most cartels being labeled as foreign terrorist organizations, and he said he would not oppose that. Again, I'm House not. I'm. I'm just not. I'm. I only saw a bit of the coverage. What I can say is what he's committed to. I'm just not going to go Let go me into go a this. Bit broader for a second. Um, the number of fentanyl deaths in this country um, has doubled in the last two years. The <coughs> Attorney General described it as an epidemic. Can you? describe what the administration has done to take on, to curb, and to try to tackle this epidemic, as he put it? So um, the, this administration, when you think about fentanyl and you think about the work that this president has done, uh, it has been uh, very much focused on getting, uh, making sure that we keep our family safe, making sure that we keep our community safe, and getting fentanyl off the street. And we've done that in record numbers. Uh, you've heard me talk about that. You've heard me talk about the work uh, that this president has done on fent fentanyl more specifically. Which I was just talking about uh, the plan that he put forth to, to make sure that we keep uh, communities safe. And that is part of that as well. We have seen record number of fentanyl uh, you know, come off the streets uh, because of the work that the president has done, because of what he is committed in protecting uh, the border security, making sure that he put forth uh, historic funding. Uh, there's still more work to be done. Uh, we would like to do that work with Republicans. They refuse to work with us. If anything, they want to take away. Uh, they want to take away that border security funding. They want to defund uh, the FBI. But the, pre the president is using the tools that are in front of him right now uh, on the executive level to see to make sure that we do every he does everything that he can uh, without the help of many of many Republicans in Congress uh, to make sure that we keep uh, community safe, and that's what he's going to continue to do. Go ahead, way in the 